Today out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil coming to you once again from Car Craft Classics. Today showing off this beautiful bright red Tonka truck. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a 1986 Chevy K10 4x4 pickup truck. Beautiful restored truck. But before we get to that, for those of you watching one of my videos for the first time, this is our 5,000 square foot facility. We're located at 321 Canton Road here in Cumming, Georgia. 30040. You can reach the shop at 470-239-4977. And my cell is 770-317-1415. You can email me at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. Don't forget to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. So, this is such a beauty. And while you're watching the video, if you would be so kind to help a small business owner like myself by subscribing to our channel, giving us a thumbs up, a like, all that good stuff, all right? Really help small business owners stay ahead, you know what I mean? And we're trying to find you guys and gals out there the best, coolest, classic cars and trucks that we can find. And this is at the top of the list absolutely in love with this truck again it's a 1986 model it has been restored although when we got it there were quite a few little bugaboos that we had to work out but we started with a really nice solid foundation uh, the truck was repainted when we got it uh, they did take the bed off when they painted it they detailed the undercarriage it's just a beautiful truck absolutely pin straight Sorry about the sniffles, but it's pollen season. But you can see down the side of that truck, it is pin straight. When we got it, it had a few little dings. The tailgate looked very rough, the paint. Like almost they forgot it, or maybe they replaced it after it got painted. So we sent it out to Atlanta Auto Repairs and Collision. And they painted the tailgate for us. Alex and Jose over there, we love those guys. They're awesome. They painted the tailgate to match the truck. Band molding is nice and straight. New tail light lenses. Got the nice heavy duty bumper. The bed has a spray in bed liner product. Not super heavy duty stuff, but I don't think you really need it. Some guys don't like the super high grit uh, bed liner products. So, anyway, when we had the tailgate painted, we had them paint the inside to match you know, with the bed liner product. This particular truck does have a sliding rear window as well. But this paint job is the star of the show. Again, when we got it, it had a few dings. I think it's had two or 3,000 miles put on it since it was restored. So it had a few little dings in it. We had a PDR guy come here and pop those dings out. He did a fabulous job. There probably was a half dozen of them. One or two on the hood, one or two on the fender. There was one on the door. But look at that beautiful truck. Sitting on 35 inch BFGs. It's got a nice set of polished bullet hole wheels. The lockout hubs here. Four wheel drive does work. I believe the truck's got a three or four inch lift. It's got all new shocks. Nice set of headers you see poking out over there. We'll get to the, uh, the engine here in a minute. But like I said, they, they painted the undercarriage, the inner wheel wells. The new shocks down there. This is a bad boy. Oh. Leaf spring mounts, everything nice and detailed under here. You certainly could take this truck to the show. There's no question. But it belongs in the mud. It belongs in the woods where it was made to roam. <laughs> This is a bad boy right here. If you can't tell I'm in love with it. One of my top five trucks that we've had here at Car Craft Classics. I absolutely love it. And I love the 85, 6, and 7 front ends with the bar going across the grill, the color match bar with the bow tie. Um, and I like the 85s and 6s because they were carbureted and they're a little easier to adjust and tune, etc. I'm not sure if this is a numbers matching engine. I presume it is, but I don't have any documented proof for that. All I know is you've got a Rowdy 350 in here bolted to a 700R overdrive transmission. So it's got the more desirable drivetrain that was available in 86. 
It's got that four speed trans. It's got the 350 instead of the 305. You know, neither one of them is gonna, you know, help this truck pull a wheelie, that's for sure. But you definitely want the 350 over the 305. When you have a four by four and you're trying to turn big 35 inch tires, you, those extra 20 to 30 to 40 horsepower really come in handy. It's got a nice four barrel holly under there. Nice set of chrome valve covers. Let's see if I can straighten this phone out for you. Nice ceramic coated headers. You can see those frame rails are nice and clean and rust free. We did service the AC. It's got a nice Duralast battery, battery in it. You can see the core support. It's in excellent shape. That was also repainted when the exterior was painted. Inner fender wells are in great shape, no rust. Got the original jack. This is a time capsule, ready to roll. Here you see the booster for the front disc brakes. So we got power disc brakes up front. Again, completely rust-free frame rails. AC does work, blows nice and cold. Got a nice underhood pad here. Probably can't see too much of that just because of the sunshine, but it's a heavy duty one. It's not the, the cloth one that we usually use on our two wheel drives. It's, it's more of a hard rubber plastic uh, underhood pad, which is nice. You always need a little extra heavy duty with the 4x4s, assuming you're going to take it in the mud and go have some fun with it. So anyway, again, we've got the bigger motor. We've got the 350, the overdrive transmission, and she is ready to rock. Got a small cam in the motor. I wouldn't say it's a hot rod motor. I mean, it's not all hopped up, but it's got a great sound. I think two and a half inch exhaust out the back. We'll fire it up for you in a minute. But again, the paint and the body on this truck are excellent. Unbelievably pin straight. Take a look at that hood. Real proud of that because like I said, we. We spent some money on that. One of the other things we painted was the cowl. I'll show you that here in just a second. That cowl, for some reason, the paint did not match. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but uh, but again, we had them paint that when they painted the tailgate. Just put on those brand new wiper arms. Brand new wiper arms, brand new wipers. Sorry, this is the shady side. I will take still shot pictures of the entire truck, everything facing the sun, so you can really get a good look at it. But for the video, there's always going to be a shady side. And this is it, the driver's side. But trust me, that paint is in excellent condition. Bright red, factory red, sitting on those 35 inch tires. Three or four inch lift. Bumpers aren't pitted, they're in great shape. Grill's all there, Got the gold bow tie. Brand new chin spoiler, let's see. There you go. Brand new chin spoiler there. So you guys can see under there. It's in excellent shape. And we'll put it on the rack. So uh, if you're interested in the truck, go to carcraftclassics.com. You'll we'll probably have those in a, in a day or two. It's Friday, so I'm not sure I'll get to all the pictures. Getting close to, to beer 30, if you know what I mean. So uh, we might have to wait a few days to get those pictures. But I'll do 55 to 60 pictures of the exterior, the interior, and the, uh, the undercarriage as well. We'll put it up on the rack and get you guys detailed pictures. Trust me, it's beautiful under there. Well, hopefully it won't stay like that too long. So like I said, this thing belongs in the mud. So hopefully whoever buys this truck will take it out there and have some fun. Maybe take it hunting or fishing. Take the kids with you. See the new shocks. Pumpkin's nice and detailed. Leaf springs, frame rails, everything's in good shape. That bumper, like I said, not pitted. Used, yes, it's a classic truck. It's 
so it's not perfect end to end. This little corner molding here, it's not perfect. But the side molding and the back band molding and the one underneath that Chevrolet band molding, those are in near perfect condition. Must have just not replaced the corner pieces. Nice new tail light lenses. Band molding on the back of the cab. Good shape. It's got one little ding you can see right there. Probably tough to see on the video, just trust me. The paint looks great though. All right, let's get into what kicked our butts as far as repairs here. I made a little list so I know why I have gray hair. Trucks like this. But I think we got it dialed in for you. I think it's ready. Can't guarantee that, you know, something won't go. It is a, what, 30-something-year-old truck, 35-year-old truck. But uh, we've gone through it and gone through it again and tried to button up everything we found wrong. We went through and serviced the AC system. The dash lights weren't working, so we got all new bulbs in there. Got the gas gauge working properly. You know, they never really worked that great from GM, but we did reground everything when they painted the truck they put the grounds back on the frame rails but they didn't scrape the paint off so we had to do that as well for the gas gauge i talked to you about all the little spots that we painted the pdr dent repair we did the choke wasn't working uh, we wired that in the wipers and the wiper arms and the power locks weren't working this particular truck has like uh, an alarm system or a key fob i guess you call it so you can lock and unlock the truck from the inside or outside. I'm not a big fan because this aftermarket crap, I mean, it works, as you can see, for both sides. But I notice, like, when you put the car in gear, it'll lock. And when you put it up into park, it doesn't unlock. So I'm always afraid I'm going to lock the keys in there. I just, if I'm going old school, I like it old school all the way. You know what I mean? But anyway, when this truck was restored, they got brand new seat. Wait till I show you that. Seat cover's brand new. Rockers are in great shape. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. They always have a little scuff mark. I notice these CK, C10s and K10s because the doors always rub. Doors always want to rub. And this one's not even, doesn't even have any play. It's just hanging a little bit, I guess, from the factory, but. It's got the brand new gauge bezel with the chrome surround. It's just gorgeous in here. Stock steering wheel, of course, with the crack in the middle. Hope they all have that. It uh, the dash pad's been replaced. It's in great shape. It's got one little blemish on the other side. I'll take a look and show you that in just a moment. Door panels are in great shape. Headliner. Great. Interior light works. Again, here's that brand new seat cover. Just excellent shape. This thing is gorgeous. Got the Silverado treatment in here, baby. Power windows, power locks, AC. Not sure if that stereo works. Let's see. That's one thing I never tried. Oh, huh? look at that. See, there goes them, those locks again. Stereo, factory stereo. One of my pet peeves. If you watch my videos, you know I'm always whining about it. I don't like when people cut the factory spot for the radio to put in one of those, are they double din or single din rectangle stereos and they cut the metal. It drives me crazy. So I'm happy to report that this one has the factory stereo system in it and it also has a little aftermarket oil pressure gauge well, let's hear this thing run you guys have heard me talk enough this brand new carpet down here still got the tag this thing is bad holds good to oil pressure as you can see 40 without pressing on the gas nice truck engine runs like a top that's one thing we didn't have to mess with still on that choke is still working right now because it's got a nice little choppy idle when it warms up 
Let's just take another walk around. I'll see if I can get that idle down for you. I'm in love with this thing. Again, it's a K10 Silverado 1986 model. be the cool kid on the block here's your chance or gal for that matter look at this beautiful thing just reminds me of a Tonka truck I don't know if they even had those anymore but they did when I was a kid look at that thing it's got a nice throaty exhaust note to it definitely not factory sounding Up, oh, doors locked. See, I don't like those power locks. Uh, that remote control thing, to be honest with you. I'll show you that little blemish in the dash pad. I think there was one over here. Looks like somebody scraped it. It's not a crack. But hopefully you can see that in the video. Just like a little, a little, someone scraped it like a, a tool or something by accident. But anyway, the dash pad is in great shape. Looks like if I was to guess, that's a USA One Industries dash pad. Look at that seat, sparkling in the sunshine. And rockers are clean, body is rust free, frame is rust free. It's a good investment grade quality truck too, you know. Buy it, hang on to it. It's only gonna gain in value. I don't wanna sit here and give you a, a lesson on all that. But uh, square bodies certainly have jumped in the last few years in value. And uh, I don't see them ever going down. And a bright red K10 on 35s with a 350 headers. And a 700R, it's cream of the crop, baby. Up. All right. Listen to that exhaust. It's got a little more choppy idle. Maybe I'll take it for a ride around the parking lot with you guys. See if that brings it down a little. All right, here we go. Let's take a ride. This thing is so fun. So again, it's got the brand new aftermarket gauge bezel in it. It's got the little chrome surround around each gauge. Beautiful. All right. Well, I guess it made a liar out of me because we're not getting that choppy idle sound. I guess maybe the choke is not quite warmed up yet, but maybe we need to lower that idle down a little bit. I remember it being in the shop and having a little chop to it, a little more chop. But man, it is gorgeous. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I do. I am, I'm enjoying it, and uh, whoever ends up with this truck is is gonna really have something to treasure for, for a long time. And it's something, like I said, that's not gonna lose its value. Should only gain in value. But hopefully, it'll end up being a family heirloom. You know, something you buy and then you hand down to the definitely a keeper all right so enough with me babbling
again, you got a 1986 Chevrolet K10 4x4 pickup. Asking price on this vehicle is going to be $29,500. $29, if you need any help with financing, we can help. Our preferred lender is JJ Best Bank. I can put you in touch with them. You can apply online or over the phone, and they'll get you financed very quickly. So just let me know on that. And uh, we also offer professional delivery. We can have this shipped right in your driveway. But there's no reason to believe that you can't come pick this thing up and drive it home. All right, again, my name is Phil Genetempo. I'm the owner here at Carcraft Classics. Give me a holler at 770-317-1415 if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help. I'll schedule a test drive or you have questions about the truck, just give me a holler. I want to thank all of you for watching the video. I really, really do appreciate it. And God bless America.